So before transforming this guy and take or taking this guy out of packaging, I first um, viewed the Bumblebee movie, the copy that I had on hand. And I was happy to note when I already took out this figure and transformed it that it, the design is close to what we saw in the movie. Now, in packaging in robot form, um, I thought that this is going to be a retool of Blitzwing. The figure that we had of a seeker that was um, released um, a few months ago but I could say now I could say that this is not a retool this is completely a new figure though it shares some similarities or aspects as to design but in transformation it's totally different figure from Starscream so unlike the first um, iteration of a uh, of the tetrajet form of Starscream which we had a uh, few months ago back in 2020 the first tetrajet was really blocky it was more like a pyramid but this time this iteration of star screen in tetrajet form for the bumblebee movie would offer ma would offer us more of a mixture of a conventional fighter jet form which is in active service in our air forces and a spaceship so this of course this part over here that's from a actual plane of some type this part over here also however the thrusters are stylized to jet upward the wings are at a different angle of course like that so yeah stylized modern fighter jet in space before um, another thing in tetrajet form that i would like to show you guys is that um with regards to the Decepti uh, Decepticon symbol over here, the faction symbol, that is not a sticker, that is actually painted on the figure. However, that is the only faction symbol that's available on this figure. So when you transform this um, figure into the Starscream mold, the robot mold, up front, we know that this is the front or the chest of the figure and these are the wings so if you have extra um, Decepticon insignia stickers available then it would be nice to add it at the, fr at the front of the wings or let's say the back of the wings we, because when in transformation mode you're just going to do this and you're going to take off the null rays put it over here and this tip of the wing would fall this way and go that way so if we're going to follow the traditional um, uh, G1 look of the Starscream which had the um, Decepticon insignia somewhere on the wing then if you have a sticker set available then this would be the part where you're going to stick that insignia Decepticon insignia so the easiest way to um, understand the transformation of this figure and follow the posted videos or the instruction the instruction manual that's included is to identify the parts of Starscream in his tetrajet form so I already took off the main the main cannon of the figure so we could identify parts right now so taking the figure at hand this star this top part of here the red part that we see from this end to that end forms the leg of the figure so this tail fin over here would tuck in Inside the legs of the figure so with the panels over here these are actually the feet of the robot form and I'm happy to say that Starscream does not have a false chest or a fox chest the cockpit area is really part of the chest area 
quick enough if I going if I'm going to flip this figure over. I already took out the main cannon, of course. You could see that there is the main hinge over here. So this is the part of the chest because those are the shoulder crowns of Starscream and this is part of the chest so these are the arms of the figure which are folded in so if you're just going to move the wings to the side then you already had done 20% of the transformation because once you move this part to the side and it's just easy to do because if you're just going to flip this over and of course it does not take a rocket scientist to know that you're going to flip this upwards to form the arms both of the arms and with the hinge over here you know that this part is going to move upwards and that part over here where my where I'm point where I'm pointing at right now hides the head of Starscream so this one should clear this area of the pegs that are underneath over there and moved it down you could move this area exposing the head of Starscream and move fold, by folding this piece inwards you move you could move this cockpit area upwards towards the chest and that's it so pretty state uh, straightforward transformation for this toy and you could easily follow the videos that are posted online and once again follow the instruction manual we have starscream in his robot mode or humanoid form okay so i love the attention to the detail that was placed in the design and i'm happy to say that the on the part of the figure that has a um, gapping hole or a hollow space would be at the forearms of the figure well of course due to transformation you have to tuck the hands inside this hollow space however as for the rest of the figure it's pretty straightforward as you could see there's not much holes in it or hollow spaces now as for the accessories that we have that are included so he has his gun however one of the things that i've noticed is that's a very i don't know if the camera would catch it that's a very short peg to for star screen to hold his weapon but um, once you installed it in place you let Starscream hold the weapon in his hand it's quite it's quite there it's quite stable and what I like about it the um, this part of the the rifle so it looks like a rifle to me is colored blue so it looks like this weapon system just formed out of his hands now the other two items that are included in this figure are the null rays these two over here however star, star, this figure starscream does not have that ability of um, sporting his null rays at his forearms here so we have these pegs over here however there are no holes to accommodate the null rays of the figure so you would end up doing this you take the main gun out and if you want starscream to um, sport the dual null rays you'd be doing this instead like he's holding twin blasters on his hands however you forego the main cannon or the main piece of weaponry that he has
but in my case I would rather just have the null rays uh, placed on the side of his wings this way because um, there's no holes once you install this and it looks ugly without the null rays on the wingtips That's it. And let's let Starscream hold this main battle rifle. And there you go. So he's full decked out, weaponed up. So overall, very good figure. Um, just enough articulation. However, the thing, of course, because of transformation, there is no um, waist bend or um, waist twist that's it because of transformation however we have articulation on the arms the forearms the legs and the feet and some kind of articulation for the um, head however I think this is just tight because it's a new figure so since I already already have my sticker sheet available over here this is from um, yeah over here toy hacks I hope the camera catches it toy hacks okay so let's install the stickers the faction symbols that I have for Starscream just to complete that G1 look for the figure overall this is a really good purchase and I don't know if you guys do supply right now of um, action figures um, when you go to the stores the shelves are really empty and if you so happen go to the store on a day that they stock um, action figures and you have the thing that you want then lucky you but for majority of the days when you go on a toy hunt to look for figures so, to, that you want the shelves are empty so you end up purchasing your figures online and at scalpers price if you're willing to pay for it however in my case I don't uh, want to get um, exploited by scalpers so I'd rather just wait uh, patiently wait for the figures to be available and just get whatever is there or is available at hand or in store oops and we are almost there to complete the look for star screen. So these are just stickers, faction symbol stickers. So how did I do that? To the side, okay. And we are almost done. There. And wipe it. So the sticker would stick on the surface of the wing tip or the wing and that's it to complete that star screen G1 look even though it's a um, modern look for the Bumblebee movie so this wraps up my review so if you like this video like comment and subscribe